the VRI Flip in Toronto. My name is Hugh and uh, I've come up with a diagram to help explain what I experience with visual reorientation illusions. It's a type of illusion that flips around one's entire orientational bearings either 90 or 180 degrees in an instant. So I'd like to use this character, Nani, to uh, just explain kind of uh, how she would experience VRIs. So let's say she moves to Toronto and she uh, gets to learn downtown Toronto, the uh, Lake Ontario here, CN Tower, Union Station, and her hotel on Front Street. So her normal orientational bearings, uh, north is kind of up that way, uh, King Street is up that way, um, King Station, uh, St. Andrew Station, she gets kind of used to this neighborhood. Uh, she's got a job at the hotel. So uh, normally she, you know, works at the hotel and then she goes shopping around town, up to King Street and around. So she really is uh, comfortable in this uh, orientational setting. She knows where she is. She knows if she heads this way, it's north. She knows this way is east, this way is west. And uh, she's very comfortable being in this orientation. Now one day, uh, Nani decides after work to uh, head on up uh, and do some shopping along King Street. So she's up on King Street, she's shopping around. She comes over to King Station and she uh, looks at the map and she's not really used to riding the subways, but she figures, oh, I'll try the subway this time and I'm going to ride the southbound uh, train to go over to Union Station and she lives close to Union Station in a condo. So she thinks, okay, I'll just hop on the subway. Well, first time kind of being on the subway, she gets on the southbound train, she heads south, and a strange thing happens as she's heading down Young Street, underground on the subway. Uh, as she comes around the corner, around this way, she doesn't actually see that it's a turn underground. She thinks that she, she's actually going west, but she feels like she's going south. So she continues down this way here in her mind's mental representation of the, uh, of the map of Toronto. Now in actuality, she's going this way and ending up here. But in her mind's eye, she's heading down this way, southbound. So when she gets here and she comes up from the subway, she looks around and everything is turned around from how she normally sees it. North is actually this way, whereas north is normally that way for her. And all the other orientations have flipped around too. The lake is that way, CN Tower is this way, whereas normally she sees everything this way. So everything is kind of turned for her. Her mental map orientational bearings have been turned 90 degrees from how she normally sees things. And she's very confused. She doesn't know what happened and how everything got turned around on her this way. Well, the brain has a, an automatic function in it. It normally flips everything back to one's normal viewpoints so that you know where you are. So in an instant, she's flipped back to normal, and then she breathes a sigh of relief as everything is how she normally sees it. And this is a, a 90 degree VRI flip that she would have experienced. So uh, she continues to do her stuff uh, over a period of weeks, and she's going to work and going home and everything, and, She's walking around one day, she comes back up to King Street, and then she comes over here, and then she feels, oh, I'm going to go back home to, uh, to Union Station. I'll just hop on the subway, hide down the university line southbound, and I'll end up back, back at home. So she gets on, she heads south. Now, what she's actually doing is heading this way on the subway, so that she thinks she's going to end up here, but she doesn't see this curve. Underground, you can't really, you lose orientation easy. So you kind of come down this way and she's actually going east, but she feels like she's going south. She feels like she's going in a straight line, not in the curve that the subway train is actually going in. So when she gets out here at Union Station and she looks around, she realizes everything has been turned around from how she normally sees it. Lake Ontario is that way, the hotel is that way, and Front Street is completely opposite. Well, not completely, it's 90 degrees changed from how she normally sees it. 
So this is, she's been turned around this way. Now, in the other way, she's been turned this way, but she previously experienced. This time it's around this way. So you see how north is now that direction, whereas north used to be in that direction in her other viewpoint, but north is normally this way for her. So her whole orientational bearings have been turned around on her again. Thankfully, within an instant, her brain automatically flips her out to this position back to normal. And now she knows where she is. She's very comfortable being in this orientation and she's very happy. Now, there's one more flip that she can possibly experience with a VRI. And that is the complete turned around 180 degree viewpoint from her normal position. And she might get that way if she had traveled in the subway southbound here she wouldn't see this curve let's say she's over here and she wants to go over to um, king station so rather than walking all the way on king street she just thinks okay i'm gonna walk i'm gonna take the subway i'm gonna come down here through the station union station and head back up this way so she figures she just has to do that because that's what the map says but as she heads down south she thinks she continues to head south through Union Station, she doesn't see this curve here in her mind's eye because she's underground. She ends up here and then she continues on because where she thinks she's going is she's going around here and all the way back up here. But as she comes down here, she thinks she's, she feels like she's still going south. At this point, she's actually going north, but she still feels like she's going south because she's her mind doesn't see that there's two curves that she's going through. One curve before Union Station and one curve after Union Station. And when she ends up here, when she comes to King Station, lo and behold, because she's actually way over here, she's actually up here at King Station. After making these two turns here, this turn and this turn, she has actually gone here in her mind's eye and she is now at King Station, but this way is north instead because she felt that she was going south the whole time. So it's very confusing because as she turns around and looks, she's going to see the CN Tower is here. And if she were to walk down this way through the streets above ground, she would find that her hotel is now 180 degrees flipped around from how she normally sees it. The Union Station and the lake is actually this way rather than how she normally sees it, this way. So there's a complete turnaround that her bearings have done from here to here. So now she's in a 180 degree flipped around VRI orientation. If she were to continue staying here and getting used to it, then she would get used to this viewpoint as being a normal one. And this one at some point might become her normal viewpoint. But usually what happens is the brain automatically flips you from this orientation always back to your normal orientation. Bang, back to here. Now people, over time, when they experience all four different orientations, they kind of get used to them. And they see each one of them, and they see themselves and the buildings and everything, and they get used to them. And then certain people can actually flip from one or orientation to the other just by thinking about it. They can do a 180 degree reorientation illusion just by thinking it, or a 90 degree orientation, reorientation just by thinking about it. It all comes with practice, and um, some people find it very uncomfortable to be in another orientation. Actually, I find it very cool. Well, I've been experiencing VRI since I was a kid, and I find that the, uh, the whole experience for me is really awesome and cool because I get to see the world in a different orientation from how I normally see it. I've seen um, different areas in all four, and some I only ever see in one orientation, and some I've seen in two or three. Uh, but that's the, uh, the basic VRI flip and how it can be experienced in Toronto. I hope you've enjoyed it. I appreciate any comments or questions. Thank you.